Hi guys and welcome back to Simply Forex, the channel dedicated to you, the trader. We want you to be successful in the markets. So guys, I'm going to give you some gold every day. I'm going to let you know which currency pairs I'm looking to trade and which direction. And I'm also going to let you know which news that you must be aware of. So let's take a look at the chart and what I'm potentially going to trade today. Morning traders, it's Monday. How was your weekend? I hope it was good. I hope you didn't do anything that I wouldn't do. So do what you like. Um, yeah, today's Monday. It's the 5th of September. Uh, and as always, guys, we're going to look back at Friday's trades, of which there was DOS too. Going to look at today's potential trades and also today's news, guys. All right. But before I start, let me just remind you the thing above my head not my hair thing above that is uh, our live session on wednesday every wednesday 6 30 london gmt before the london open guys we're going to do a live session every wednesday so come join us you can ask as many questions as you like um, about trading maybe a currency pair that you're in and also um, you also have a chance to come on and join me on on the live session um, and we can do a sort of a face-to-face -face Q&A. All right, so remember that, guys, for Wednesday. Um, if you want to join, you can uh, email us or, uh, yeah, email us. Right, uh, yeah, so Friday's trades, guys. We're going to start with them. So there were two trades. The first one was this. This was the Aussie dollar against the US dollar, okay? Um, so price was clearly in an uptrend, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, yeah, but then it didn't break these lows, yeah, not until this candle here, okay, and now we're seeing a head and shoulders pattern, okay, so the idea was to come down to this blue line here, okay, so this is called a head and shoulders because this first one is the shoulder, this is the head, it takes me I'm getting better at drawing with this pink pen, very masculine pink pen. Um, yeah, so it's a head and shoulders pattern, guys. Yeah, shoulder, head, shoulders, broke these lows. Okay, so the idea is whatever this distance is, whatever this distance is, it can come down that distance again. So back down to these lows. Okay, my target's a little bit more conservative, just this blue line here, this seven, sorry, this six, seven, fifty um, zone. Okay, um, yeah, so as you can see, guys, it did come down, it reacted at one of our grey zones. Let, let's just quickly look at the weekly here, guys. The only, I still think it's going to come down, but the only reservation I do have is, you know, we have this weekly support here. Okay, but I still think we can get down to this 750. You know, it might even come down to 6700. So the 6750 is conservative. Okay, so there's the weekly chart. The day chart was a head and shoulders. And now let's look at the hourly chart to see what actually happened and if we had a trade. So we had a couple of grey zones mapped out, guys. At the start of the day, we always map these grey zones out. So you have areas where you know you could potentially enter the trade. Um, and as you can see, guys, price did come up to our, this grey zone. But none of these candles tell me sellers are in control. Yeah, we've got a bit of a wick on this green candle. But it's just not enough. We've got too much bottom wick as well. So, yeah, no entry on this first grey zone. And then price shoots up, you know, quite aggressively to this grey zone. But then we get this huge candle form, yeah, on this green candle. Okay, so for me, I was looking for shorts. As soon as I saw this, yeah, this huge rejection wick, I was looking for shorts for this pair. Okay, um, and then after that, guys, we did have this this one as well. But, you know, it's coming to the end of a Friday night trading, you know, and you'd have to risk quite a lot. Obviously, if you entered on this candle, this would be your risk. Yeah, your reward is here. So it wouldn't make sense, guys. So for me, this was my entry candle. But I had to have a retrace, yeah? 
So I wanted to have a retrace after this candle to give me some value. Okay, so I ended up getting a retrace. I took a short just before the grey zone. Okay, so I entered a short here. I put my stop above here. <clears throat> okay, almost got taken out with this green candle, but we didn't. Okay, and then my first target, guys, was just back down to this grey zone. Okay, these last H1 highs here. So then price come back down. I closed 80% of my trade here. Um, and then, yeah, I'm, I, and then I, to be honest, guys, I ended up closing the remaining 20% as well. Yeah, it was, it was coming to the end of Friday night. Um, I don't like to really leave trades open over the weekend. So I ended up closing 100% at this level. Okay. But looking at the day chart, maybe some of you did leave 20% on. Yeah, I still think it has room to the downside. Um, but I closed 100%. Okay, guys. So, yeah, that was Aussie dollar, US dollar. And that was a wonderful trade. Yeah, nice profit. It gave us yeah, more than a risk to reward of one is to one. It was about one and a half, um, one to one and a half risk to reward. Okay, so, yeah, we like this trade. Um, let me know how you traded it. The next one was this. This was the euro against the Canadian dollar. Okay, and we were looking to short this pair as well. So, Price was in this range, yeah, for a long time, really. Okay, and then eventually it broke out of this range. Okay, so for me, it was in a downtrend. And it's come back up. It's tested the highs at the top of this range. Okay, so the idea was just to take price back down to this blue line because we had this huge candle react at these highs. Yeah, we're in a downtrend. We had a huge um, candle react with these these highs here okay so the idea was just to take price back down to our blue line and again as you can see that almost what happened okay guys so yeah shorten this pair from friday let's look at the h1 to see how we traded this and we it was a tricky one guys we ended up having two bites at this cherry okay so let me explain so um, yeah, my head was in the way. So price did come up to our grey zone. All right. And then just before, let me zoom in a little bit more. There we go. And then just before, you know, while at the London Open, we had this candle form. Yeah, come up to our grey zone. We've got a bearish candle, tells me sellers are in control. I thought, excellent. Yeah, I got a slight retrace. So I entered here. I put my stop above here. Yeah, and the idea was just to come down to potentially these last lows and then an even our higher time frame target. But as you can see, guys, the market had other ideas. Yeah, and the next candle, this green candle, yeah, took out my stop here. Okay, unhappy trader. But we will have losing trades, guys. You have to get used to, you know, accepting losses in trading. You really do. That's quite a big psychological thing to overcome. Um, so, yeah, got to stop now. As long as you follow your money management, no problem. Okay, so my first entry on this candle got stopped out. But then I saw this candle close back in, yeah, to the zone. Okay. So I actually entered on this candle as well, guys. All right. So if we just quickly look at the H4 as well. So, yeah, what was giving me the confidence to do this is was this candle before it, this H4 candle, which I thought, excellent, we're off to the races, we're going to make loads of money. But then the next candle, H4, that's that, that, that was that H1 green bullish candle. But this wick, yeah, closed below this wick. Okay. So on the H4, that gave me another piece of confluence to yeah to still take this pair lower okay just wanted to show you that on the h4 and then we had this candle here as well okay this red candle so i entered on the close of this candle i didn't get a retrace i entered on the close of the candle put my stop above here okay and then the idea was just to take yeah um the trade back down to these last lows okay these last h1 lows and again, that's exactly what happened, guys. And again, I closed 100% here. Yeah, 
Again, it was Friday, coming to the end of the uh, trading week. I closed 100% of my trade here for just under a risk to reward of one is to two. Okay, so although my first trade, yeah, we had a loss, my second trade had a very good risk to reward and I made all that money back and some. Okay, so it was a really good day yesterday, guys. Good trade on Aussie dollar, US dollar, made money and a couple of trades on Euro Canadian dollar, but still made nice profit on that pair as well. All right, guys, but let me know how you traded it. Okay, uh, let's take a look at today's trades now. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the recap from Friday. If you did, then please join us at Simply Forex. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Smash the notification button. And also smash that like button, guys. Help support the channel. Merci beaucoup. Um, and also, before I start the trade ideas, guys, above my head, remember the live session Wednesday morning. Come on, ask as many questions as you like about trading. Um, all right, guys. So, trade ideas for Monday, the 5th of September. We have got two, two trade ideas. The first one is this. I'm, we're still peddling the Aussie dollar, US dollar. Okay, because of this head and shoulders pattern. Yeah, shoulder, head, shoulder. And the idea is just to take it down. Yeah, I showed you this in the recap, guys. I've talked about it in a couple of my live sessions. But this is a, you know, a common pattern in the markets. Yeah, head and shoulders pattern. Shoulder, head, shoulder. Yeah, and then when this candle broke the lows, followed by this candle. Yeah, the idea was just to keep that um, selling momentum coming down. Okay. And if we zoom in, guys. Yeah, if I show you, yeah, and then we had this wick as well. Yeah, I know it's a green candle, guys, but this wick has formed, you know, at our grey zone and rejected these last lows here. Yeah, remember, we love this pattern. What was once support, support, when it breaks, becomes resistance. Okay, we love this pattern more than I love Gal Gadot. Okay, guys, so... Yeah, we're shorting, we're still looking to short this pair because of that chart pattern and head and shoulders and this huge uh, rejection wick as well. Okay, so remember the day chart is always your why. You need to have reasons, confluence for why you are shorting. Okay, so for all those reasons, we're still looking to take price back down to this blue line. I haven't changed this blue line. Okay, this 6750. All right, guys, so that's the why on the day chart. And now on the H1, we're going to look at how and where we can get in on the trade. Okay, so we've got a couple of ideas here, guys. All right, we've got our two grey zones, which I haven't really changed, to be honest with you. All right, so first of all, price could come back up to here, test these last H1 highs, okay? Uh, we get a bearish candlestick pattern form. We enter the trade. I would close 80% of this grey zone, yeah, and then let 20% run down to one of our higher time frame targets. Okay, so that's the first idea. If that doesn't happen, guys, then price could do this. So, as you can see, my head is in the way. Yeah, this grey, the lower grey zone has become, it was once support, okay, then when it broke, it's become resistance, resistance. Now it's broke, it's become support. And now what we want to see now is if it breaks again, gets a retest, yeah, and then it becomes resistance again, okay? So let's just zoom in a little bit. So what we want to see, guys, is a breakdown of this grey zone, yeah, a retest into it. We get a bearish candlestick pattern or just a candle that tells us sellers are in control, yeah? And then we enter the uh, enter the uh, pair. Yeah, take price first of all back down to these last H1 lows. Remember, that's always our first target. Close 80%, and then leave 20% to run down to our higher time frame target. Okay, so still looking to short Aussie dollar, US dollar. Okay. Um, yeah, second trade idea is this. This is the euro against the Aussie dollar. All right. And this one, guys, as you can see, 
is it's in a downtrend. It's, the downtrend is still intact. Okay, so you've got lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. And then it's come back up and tested these last highs. Okay, yes, tested these last highs here. All right, and then we've got, we had a, we had a reaction candle uh, on Thursday, but in Friday's candle, it's just more negative and pushed away from that zone. And we have very little bottom wick or no bottom wick. Okay, so let's zoom in. Let me show you that. Yeah, this candle here, as you can see, pushed back off these highs. Yeah, it's got very, well, no bottom wick, which just tells me sellers want to take this lower. So we're in a downtrend, come off uh, resistance, got a neg uh, bearish candle, you know, that's enough reason for me to short this pair. Okay, um, I've got a conservative target here. This first target here, this 4550. Yeah, we just want to come from one of our gray zones down to there. And then potentially this blue line as well. But let me explain why my targets are um, conservative. Because if you look at the weekly chart, we are at these weekly lows here. Okay, but the weekly chart is in a downtrend. Okay, so because we once here, we once had high highs, higher lows, but then it's broke these lows. Okay, so weekly chart is in a downtrend, although, yeah, we are looking, there is this area of support here. Okay, so bear that in mind, guys. Um, but we go back to the day chart. Yeah, that's why I've made my targets conservative. Okay, so let's look at h1 to see how we can get in on this pair um, and we've got a couple of gray zones guys all right so first of all price could retrace up to here which corresponds with these highs these highs even this high and then we see a bearish candlestick pattern form wonderful we enter the trade yeah i'd close 80 percent back at these last h1 lows here yeah and then let 20 percent run down to this target as we've got two higher time frame targets, you could, could close 10% of the first target and then let 10% run. All right, so that's the first idea, guys, on the H1. The second one is this, yeah, is, you know, the, the pattern we all love. I keep saying it. But, yeah, this is obviously support here. But what we want to see is price break down out of this grey zone, close outside of this grey zone. Then price comes back in, yeah, test these lows, okay. We see a bearish uh, candlestick form, yeah, we get in the trade and take 100%, well, 80% down to this blue line, yeah, close 80% and then let 20% run. Okay, guys, so yeah, that's the idea for the Euro Aussie dollar to short this pair. Okay, guys, they're the two trade ideas for today. Let's take a look at the news now. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this daily morning analysis. If you are, then why not subscribe to the channel, smash the notification button, and also smash that like button, guys. Yeah, much appreciated. Okay, so news for Monday, the 5th of September. As you can see, Canada and the United States are on holiday, Labor Day. I remember once being in Vegas and having a very good Labor Day. I'm still recovering. Um, but yeah. So expect the um, America, the New York Open and the American market to be a little bit light. Yeah, there'll be less volume in the market, guys. So must be aware of that. Um, but if we carry on down, there's still some news. So overnight, you'll see at 2.30 London GMT, we've got retail sales coming out of Australia. So that's, this is a three-star rating, could affect any Aussie dollar pair. But I will not be awake. Um, if we carry on down, the only other... Uh, piece of news is this at 9 30 london gmt coming out of the uk we've got two three-star ratings at the same time composite pmi and services pmi so this could really move any uk uh, any pound pair guys okay so must be aware of that and as you can see nothing else for the rest of the day um that's it guys that's the news i hope you've enjoyed the vid if you have please subscribe like and share 
Have a great trading day, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.